shadow. Look at the cows. Look at the cows. Oh, well, there they are. Look at those cows. Cows. Yeah, that's a cow. Yeah. A bunch of them up here. You see a cow? Here, let's look at this cow. See some cows? They see you. He's looking right at you. He's looking right at you. <laughs> okay. That's, oh, she's mad now because we're leaving, see? She makes a bigger deal of it when we're leaving. <laughs> All right. I've been doing some experimenting with projections and Raspberry Pis and screens. <laughs> this is a six foot uh, projection screen that I normally use in my computer classes to teach students. And um, I'm just experimenting because I'm thinking about taking my Raspberry Pi and using it as a full time media center for my home. So. As I said before, this screen is 72 inches, and it's plenty big, but uh, I could I could go bigger if I wanted to. And um, the video that's playing is a YouTube video that we did earlier this week. We're using the Xbox Media Center Edition operating system for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Over here is the projector, and it might be a little hard to see because I've got it dark in here, so you know you can see the video this is an Epson projector LCD and the image quality is actually quite good and I can tell by looking through this camera that it's not going to come out as well as it is on in real life so unfortunately you'll just have to take my word that it looks very nice um, it is going through um, this projector as VGA. I've got a, a adapter here that you can look back on some of my other videos and see the adapter. It's right there. It converts HDMI to VGA. And I'm thinking about building a little box for this whole setup and then hanging it from the ceiling. The Raspberry Pi doesn't take much room at all. Very tiny. I'll probably do a custom case for that. Or just bolt it on top like it is here. And as an experiment, I was also seeing what I could do if I just wanted to use a monitor and I'm able to split the signal here and I'm running this uh, cable over to this monitor. So this Dell monitor is also running, you know, the same as what this is here. That way you can preview it uh, on a on a table beside your chair where you would watch movies or something like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm showing you, give you some ideas of what you might be able to do. Let me get another video going here. So this Epson, I would expect you could get an L, a used LCD projector for probably about $100. And the Raspberry Pi is 35, and the, the cables are probably another, you know, 20. And then the screen material is probably going to run you about 100 bucks. So add that all up, but now you have a six foot movie studio, basically. And um, there's only one piece left over to the puzzle, and that would be the audio. So what I did is I have a. Uh, over here, let me turn on my, my overhead lights. 
I've got this little remote that I use for my lights. Yeah, it works out pretty good. They're just plug-in modules. Let's show, show you one. Right there's one. And uh, each one of these has a channel. But anyway, just temporarily, I've got the wire for the audio coming right out of the Raspberry Pi down this wire here and hooked up into the back of this um, surround sound system. Uh, 2012. And it has the big bass boomer and then it has four of these speakers, like satellite speakers. And they're all around the room. You probably can't see them, but uh, they look just like that. And then this one. See if we can crank it up for a minute here. I've got my hands on a Dell 2500 um, server. It's a Dell Power Edge 1650. I have a lot of these gateway computers. I find that using one of these would probably be the best thing for a new uh, webcam security server. So that thing really kicks out the audio. And I think that putting this on the floor or something similar to it and then four satellite speakers going around behind the viewer would really get a nice show. And I'm sorry that you can't really appreciate the audio or the video quality of this, but it, like I said, it is quite nice. So I just wanted to put that out there as an idea to you. This is a short video today. I've been doing some fun things and uh, I'm still trying to get over this cold. <laughs> I can't seem to stay out of the bad weather. Uh, we're fixing pipes and uh, running different places and that sort of thing so that's not making the cold go any better for me but I uh, hope you enjoyed this little do-it-yourself project here so um, thanks for watching if you have any questions about how we hooked up this projector to the Raspberry Pi you can just shoot me out a message and I'll get back with you in the comments thanks for watching hey we'll see you next time well, I was going to do a before and after shot. She just got back from the groomers. She doesn't talk to me after the groomers. I don't think she likes going there. Do you, Shadow? All right, we're going to get out of here. You ready to go, Shadow? You ready to go, Shadow? <laughs> See, she's not talking. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.